Hey guys, this is Andrew with RockClass101.com. Today we're going to be learning Hedwig's theme, which is generally considered the theme song for Harry Potter series. Um, it's actually one of my most favorite themes, and it's because of who wrote it, uh, which is John Williams. And I mean, he's done so many tunes like E.T., uh, Star Wars, I mean, the list goes on. What I love about him as a composer is that he really knows how to uh, arrange and compose the song to fit the vibe of the movie like when you listen to the song I mean it just makes you feel like you're in a magical place so uh, it's just I, I love John Williams so be sure to check out all of his uh, tunes that he's done and you'd be surprised by how many he's done that you know that you didn't realize was from him Anyways, um, let's go ahead and kick into what this lesson's gonna be. This is part one, and in part one, we're gonna be learning the intro plus the melody A from theme one. Think of theme one as da 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 ba da da. And this arrangement also covered theme two, which was da 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 da. Right? So if you guys want to learn the rest of this tune, you can do so at rockclass101.com in part two of the lesson. So in part two, we'll cover the rest of the tune. Plus, at the site, you can also get access to the complete tabs to print off with. It's as a PDF format, so you can print it out. And there's also the on-screen tab viewer. So it literally lets you hit play with this YouTube performance or just the audio of me playing. And you can watch the tabs scroll across in real time. You can highlight bars to loop it, slow it down to whatever speed you want. Just a great asset in learning this song that much quicker. So all of that's at rockclass101.com. All right, let's kick into part one. So we're going to start with our intro. I'm going to go ahead and play the intro one time through, and then we're going to break it down. All right, guys, so that's basically what our intro sounds like. So what do you notice with the intro? It's basically straight out of an A minor chord, right? We just have a stock A minor that we learn basically on day one of ukulele playing. So if you're not familiar with it, it's the second finger on the second fret of string four, and the rest of the strings are open underneath it. So we're gonna be sticking out of this chord, but what we're gonna be doing is we're gonna be plucking a couple notes at a time from it. So the first hit is gonna be string four and string one together. Right, so I'm gonna use my thumb for string four and my ring for string one, and I pluck both those together. And then I'm gonna use my middle finger for string three and my ring finger for string two. Remember, they're open. I'm just gonna hit those twice. So I've got pluck, ba, ba, right? Again, pluck, ba, ba, without me calling. Okay? Now, you can also use your first and second finger, right, for string three and two, if that's more comfortable. So it's up to you guys which ones you like to use. Again, okay. Now, bar two is gonna throw a little variation on it. So we're gonna jump all the way up, and we're gonna hit a harmonic. I usually use my middle finger. Now, these harmonics, they're gonna be the second bar of the 12th fret, right? So what I'm gonna do is put my middle finger directly over that second bar of the 12th fret and I'm gonna hit that uh, strings, and I'm gonna lift up. Now the trick is you can't push down, you can't push down. You have to barely touch the string and then lift up, right? So harmonic is just something that you have to practice to get it, um, to get like the muscle memory down to do it and hit it every single time. So it's a little tricky, but once you practice and get it down, it's, you can literally space out and do harmonics all day long. So it gives it a cool little sound. So now we have, from the first part, and then we jump all the way up, and we're gonna hit those harmonics, so string one and two of the second bar of the 12th fret. And then we follow it up with, again, two opens. So again, string three and two open. So it sounds like that. Again, slow, we have pluck, 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 jumping all the way up, harmonic, and then pluck, pluck, right? A little tricky. Right? The ring finger might be actually easier to hit it with. Uh, just experiment, you know, try your middle finger, try your ring finger, uh, and see which one's easier for you to hit it with. Now, bar three actually goes back and plays the same thing, so you're gonna have as bar one, right? So four and one together, and then two and three together twice. 
So bar four is where we have a little uh, variation or a change in it. We're gonna do a hammer on. So you're gonna play string two open and you're gonna hammer on with that first finger to the first fret of string two. Right, so we just have open to hammer on. And then we're gonna follow it up with a tap on the body. So I'm just using my thumb to hit right above the neck. Just hit it once and then take that ring finger, put it on four on string three and play that plus the open second together. So it gives you a double of the E note. So we have, right, hammer on, tap, pluck. So if I play it from bar three and four, I have, one more time. Okay, and all the way, one through four. That's what we get. All right, so let's go ahead and move on to theme one, melody A. So just keep in mind that these themes, they're gonna have two melodies each, right? So theme one has melody A and melody B. Think of it as like, uh, melody B is like a variation on the melody A, right? And then theme two is the same thing. We have melody C and melody D, so melody D is like a variation on melody C. So it just gives it a nice flow instead of playing the same thing. And that's what the song does. It actually, it doesn't repeat sections. It keeps going with it. But um, that was the easiest way for me to label this um, arrangement. So let's go ahead and kick into our first melody. And here's what the first uh, part sounds like. And then we're going to break it down. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to play the first um, four bars and then we'll break it down. Alright, so there's the first part. So again, you can see that it's straight out of that A minor chord, right? So again, we're starting with the basic A minor. We're going to strum it. And then again, we're going to pluck three and two open together. But now we're going to start to introduce that melody, which is on string one. So you're going to go third fret, second fret after that. So here's what that bar sounds like. We have strum followed by a pluck and then three, two. And in the context of the timing, right? Think of the song in your head too, da, 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 right? If you can sing it, you can play it, right? So again, strum opens three, two, really slow. Again, strum, pluck three, two. Okay, bar two, we go straight back to A minor but we're gonna pluck four and one together only. Following that up with open three and two again, and then taking pinky and playing seven on string one. So now we have for bar two, slow down, four and one together, pluck the opens, and then seven. Okay, so bar one and two together slow. Even slower. The next bar, you're gonna drop that pinky down to five and then add your finger, first finger to second fret of string four. So we're gonna pluck four and one together and follow it up by two opens again, right? So we have pluck, o, o, okay? Let's add that together, bar one, two, three. Okay, without me calling. After that, I'm gonna take my middle finger, put it on two on string one. So I'm gonna pluck four and one together, and again, follow it up with opens. So it sounds like that. So again, one through four. Okay, one more time. Strum, O, three, two, pluck, O, seven, five, pluck. Without me calling. Okay, let's look at the next um, four bars. So it sounds like this.
okay, so the first bar actually starts the same, right? So the fifth bar for the A melody starts identical to the first bar of the A melody, right? Which was strum, O, three, two. So it's the same bar, which we already know. Again, strum, O, three, two. Now you have a little micro bend, which is a little tricky. And take your ring finger, put it on the fourth fret of string three, and your middle finger on the third fret of string two. So it's gonna be a little bend. So you see how I tug up on those two? Just that tiny bit. And after that tug, I'm gonna play the first string open. So it just gives me a little um, more interesting uh, like note, you know, instead of just so flat, right? It adds a little bit of dynamic, adds a little bit of character. Just a tiny bit, right? So after that, we go into a bit of a slowdown section. But before we get to that, let's do bar five and six for this melody A. So I have... Okay, one more time. Okay, here's that slow section to finish it up. Okay, so what happens here is we're back to A minor. But this time we're going to pluck four and two together. Then open third, and then the fourth fret of string three. I can use my pinky, and then the open two. So I have pluck, O, four, O. Okay, one more time. Okay, putting bars five through eight together. So that's what we get. Now we've got the first eight bars for melody A. So there's eight more that are left. So let's go ahead and um, just talk about the first two of these last set of eight because they keep with the same uh, theme that we've been playing so far before we hear the little walk down chord change. So here's what the next two bars sound like and then we'll talk about that walking down chord change which is really cool. So here's bar nine and 10 for the um, A melody. And if you're a premium member following with the tab, uh, we're talking about bars 13 and 14 on the tab. So here's those next two, sounds like this. All right, so what do you notice? It's the same two bars as the first and second bar that we learned for the melody A, right? So it just reverts back to that. So again, it was strumming A minor, plucking, and then three, two, and then again, plucking four and one only, and then open and stretching to seven. So the same two bars that we be began the A melody with. Okay, here comes that chord part I was talking about, which is real neat. So I'll go ahead and play through it. Um, I'm just gonna go ahead and play uh, these next four bars and then we'll talk about the last two after. All right guys, so that's what it sounds like. Um, so again, it's just a walk down and it's basically the same shape uh, that we're moving down. So the first chord that we're gonna play is gonna be a C minor. So to make this, we're gonna use our index on seven on string three, our middle on eight on string two, and our pinky on 10 on string one. We're also gonna hit the fourth string open. So we're just gonna strum all four, just like that. Then we're gonna pick out of the chord, we're gonna play string two, and then lift your pinky up and put your ring finger down on nine on string one. So we have strum two, nine, right? And I called out string two. So again, strum, string two, nine on one. So that's gotta lift up, okay? Next, you're gonna move that chord down a whole step, right? So everything's identical. Now we're playing a B flat minor, so it's just a whole step down. So now my index is on five on string three, middle is on six on string two, and pinky is on eight on string one. So same shape as the C minor, just everything down one whole step. But for this one, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna strum only three down, so ignore string four. Again, we're gonna pick out of it. This time, we're gonna hit string three, and then we've got a tricky stretch. You're gonna use that ring finger, 
and you're gonna play six on string four, right? So it's really, really awkward and a little tricky, right? But it sounds like that. Again, I have strum three and then stretch six on four. Okay, so just work on that one. That, one's, that one, again, is just a little hard. So here's what the first one sounds like. We have C minor to the B flat minor, right? Again, strum two, nine, strum three, four. Okay, without me calling. Okay, keep your pinky where it's at. You're gonna move these two fingers down a half step. So five and six becomes four and five. That stays on eight. Now strum again, three down. Right? Now we get a little bit of dissonance in this one, right? This one's an F major seven, right? But it's got a bit of diff dissonance. And from here, we're gonna walk our melody down on the first string. Right? It's gonna go seven, six. So I've got strum, sep six. But listen to the timing of it, right? I have five, Right, so the rhythm's different. The first two bars were kind of more straight, right? You can hear that that third chord will last longer. So again, I have. Right, so you can tell that it lasts just a little bit longer. And then we get to something that you've probably never done before, which is an open string bend. And I know what you're thinking. How do we do an open string bend? That doesn't make any sense. But when you watch me play, you notice that I took my finger and I put it behind the nut. This white strip right here, this is the nut for the uke. If we put it behind and we play an open, you can hear that it'll change that pitch. So it's the same concept of doing a bend, but to do an open, we have to go behind the nut and push down and come back up. So that's the trick with this one. Right, so if I do this walk down, watch how I go to that open. Right? So go ahead and try it. Play the open, push down, and come up. Right? You don't want to kill it, right? You just want to go. Right? So it just takes a little bit of practice. Really awkward, right? To go behind the neck. We've never done that. But after that, push down and come up, you're going to play three on string one with your pinky. So it sounds like that. All right, the context of the walk down. Okay, and our last couple bars, we're going back to playing string four and one together. Pluck, pluck, and then jumping back up. Harmonic, and that ends it, right? And those harmonics, again, are the same as the intro, where it was on string one and two only. All right, guys. Now we've learned the entire melody A for theme one. So it's quite comprehensive, right? We had 16 bars that we went through, um, plus the four bars from the intro. So we're 20 bars into this arrangement. Um, and that completes our first lesson for part one. But uh, before we wrap up, let's just go ahead and I'll play through it. I'm going to call out the, um, the intro plus the uh, melody A, the first eight bars, and then the second eight bars for melody A as I go through it, right? We're going to go slow just so you can hear everything that we've covered so far, and then we'll wrap this lesson up. So here's everything all the way through slowly. Is the intro, then we have melody A, first eight bars. Okay, and then the last eight bars for melody A. And that's everything that we covered in this lesson. So if you guys enjoyed this, uh, please do join me for part two of the lesson at rockclass101.com. We'll learn the rest of the tune, and you can also get the complete tabs to print off with and access to that on-screen tab viewer. So thank you for joining, and I'll see you in our next lesson.